my name is Peter Brown. I have a YouTube channel called Shop Time. I am a woodworker. I am a wood turner. But I have a dark confession to make. I'm also a wood hoarder. I know that many of us as woodworkers fall into this, um, I wouldn't call it a trap, because that would imply that I want to change it. And it isn't anything I want to change, because I actually enjoy the process. Um, but we, we collect wood because we're making projects. I then keep cutoffs because I can turn those cutoffs into other things. Uh, bottle stoppers, pens, a tool handle, a shallow box, glue-ups, flock, cutting boards, make some gorgeous panels out of it, bowls, boxes. I'm, I could use that for something. I found this on the side of the road. I kid you not, I was going for a walk at my work, and this was on the side of the road. And I brought it back to the shop, and it sat in there for two years before I finally decided I should do something with it. And I actually used it in my um, coffee mug video that I made. And it turned out okay. And that's part of the problem, is that I don't want to use something and then mess it up because I've taken this beautiful wood, this gorgeous grain, and I've turned it into something that I'm not completely proud of. So should I have just left it here? This wood, this piece of sycamore for instance that I got free um, from my turning club, they were giving it away um, because they didn't have a use for it and so they gave it away and now I keep it in my shop to pull it out and say look at this look at this beautiful piece of wood so there's a shop nearby me they make um, gun stocks and they sell the cutoffs in nine pound bags no they sell the cutoffs in 50 pound bags for nine bucks and it's blocks of wood about this size and you've seen these in my videos I've I've used these in numerous videos out of them I made bottle stoppers out of them they're very nice, they're very handy. But every once in a while, something like this appears in the bag. And I just can't find a project that it's worthy of. And so I put it up on the shelf. And this one has been here for almost three years now. And I just don't know. I think I'd be sad if I didn't have it in the shop. And I think that's the sickness right there, is that I should be using it to make a project. But instead I go, this would make a beautiful tool handle. And then I take it out, and I look at it, and I go, or I could use a piece of maple. Maybe a piece of maple, maybe some real straight grain walnut, you know. Uh, maybe I'll do a glue up. I think I've got some scraps running around. And so I'll, you know, I'll do this elaborate glue up with scraps uh, instead of using something beautiful like this. I'm in Sonoma County, uh, in the wine country, and what they used to do for fermenting wine is they'd have these gigantic, you know, barrels, uh, and we're talking huge, you know, and um, they'd be coopered barrels, and they were made out of redwood, because that's what they had on hand, and it has this amazing smell to it. I actually made two bowls out of this blank that I had, and instead of just tossing this cut off, which I clearly can't get another bowl out of this, um, I've decided to keep it. A piece of lignum vita, which is incredibly heavy. Uh, they say iron woods uh, are the only woods that actually sink in water. This one is lignum vita, and you can tell because it's, it's green. I also have some Mexican iron wood that I picked up at a flea market, um, and it's, it's still on the shelf. It's lovely to turn with. Uh, it's a little hard on the tools. Then there's this guy, another piece of walnut. I go, nothing I can dream up for this would be as beautiful as it is in my mind. And so because of that, for five years, it has been collecting dust in the shop. And when I die, and everything is sold for pennies on the dollar, um, this will probably be somebody's 
warm prefer a knife. They cut it up and throw it in the fire. And, um, and that, uh, that actually makes me sad just thinking about it. I got this piece of acacia wood for $10. They were making a table at my salvage yard, and this was a cutoff. They actually made something useful. Someone owns it now, I'm sure. It's sitting in their house being used. And so instead of taking this cutoff and doing something awesome with it, it's propped up in the shop. And I pick it up frequently and say, I'm going to make an end table out of this. Maybe someday I'll make a project out of it. But for now, I'll probably just, probably just keep it until the right project comes along. Until then, I've got lots of wood to work with. I've got pear. I've got walnut. I've got some maple. You know what? I, I, I think the Home Depot's having a sale on oak right now.